Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the latest from Piper, the 301 knot M700 Fury. Level Aviation intros Joy joystick control system. Cal Science Center shuttle display now in launch position. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. The latest from Piper, the 301 knot M700 Fury. Piper Aircraft has added a new model to its PA-46 line, the M700 Fury, a single-engine 700-shaft horsepower cabin-class turboprop. Reportedly the next step in expanding their M-Class series, the M700 is powered by the Pratt & Whitney PT-6A-52 engine, allowing for a maximum cruise speed of 301 knots to airspeed with a max range of 1,149 nautical miles at max cruise, 1,424 nautical miles at normal cruise, while maintaining a basic MED-compliant 6,000-pound MG tow limit. At 301 knots, the M700 is the fastest production bird they've ever built, and the second fastest model of all time. Notwithstanding the late and oft-lamented Piper jet program, only the mighty Piper Cheyenne 400 LS turbine twin is faster. The M700 claims a takeoff distance over a 50-foot obstacle at SL STD Day MG tow of 1,994 feet, which is claimed as a 641-foot, or 24% improvement, when compared to the M600 SLS generation that it will replace. Initial climb numbers are stated to offer a 2,048 FPM climb rate, 32% better than the M600. Piper touts the bird as being a million bucks less than the competition. ANN is looking forward to a flight test later this year. After the break, B-29 Dock adds Great Bend Airport Airfest to 2024 schedule. There's a lot of places I get to at the end of the runway or in turnarounds that I need an engine running. So for me, it's very important to have a product that I'm absolutely confident with. I am very confident with the Trailblazer propeller. And when I'm flying air shows, I know that propeller is going to be right for me. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. B-29 Dock adds Great Bend Airport Airfest to 2024 schedule. The B-29 Dock History Restored Tour will land in Great Bend, Kansas, where Dock will be one of the featured performers at the 2024 Great Bend Airport Airfest, September 20th through 22nd. The tour stop will include B-29 Dock Flight Experience rides, along with ground and cockpit tours of B-29 Dock, which is one of 1,644 B-29 Super Fortress aircraft built by the Boeing Company in Wichita during World War II. JetBlue Spirit merger due to be heard this summer. JetBlue has gotten a court date for its appeal for the desired merger with Spirit Airlines, but things won't be moving as quickly as they desire. The first U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals will take the case before June of this year. The case is actually being taken care of somewhat expeditiously, as far as legal things tend to go. JetBlue had petitioned to have their appeal considered by July 24th, a deadline their merger agreement had set to close the deal had it all gone as planned. Pilot shortage, Alpa notes record pilot numbers. 
ALPA is touting updated data from the FAA showing the agency issued 11,225 airline pilot certificates during the 2023 calendar year, exceeding analysts' forecasts and airline demand for new aviators. This is the second year in a row that pilot production numbers are breaking records. In addition to the impressive pilot production numbers, the number of certified flight instructors totaled 93,567, a nearly 20 percent increase over 2019, further demonstrating that the airline pilot pipeline remains strong and robust. The search is on. CAF Gulf Coast Wing searches for an AC-47. The CAF Gulf Coast Wing has officially initiated a search for a new aircraft, marking a significant milestone in the organization's ongoing efforts to expand its fleet. Following extensive deliberations among wing members and constructive discussions with CAF leadership, the decision has been made to direct their focus towards acquiring a Vietnam-era AC-47 gunship. The organization articulated its commitment to discovering, restoring, and operating an AC-47 gunship. The objective is to present the compelling narrative of Spooky at air shows worldwide. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Level Aviation intros Joy Joystick Control System. Level Aviation has introduced the Joy. Described as, quote, not just another standard joystick, end quote, it is a flight control system that puts autopilot authority at your fingertips using wireless communication capabilities. The Level Joy also features visual indications for heading, navigation, altitude, and autopilot off button. Additionally, it includes an integrated level toggle that allows pilots to configure their aircraft for straight and level flight with the push of a button. The Level Joy incorporates a handy push-to-talk feature on its front controls. The rear-facing scroll wheel enables users to adjust altitude and heading hold values as well as aircraft pitch. Ananda Leon, software engineer and product designer at Level Aviation, says, quote, Inspired by our commitment to making aviation more affordable and safer, the Level Joy's ergonomic design brings your controls to the palm of your hand, end quote. Level submits that their users will always have access to the latest features and enhancements. The Level Joy is equipped with wireless firmware updates, ensuring that pilots have the most up-to-date version. The Level Joy is suitable for use with the iLevel AP, a trim tab-based autopilot that weighs less than 2 pounds, including servos, attitude and heading reference system, WAAS GPS, ADSB for weather and traffic information, air data, and other features. After these messages, Cal Science Center shuttle display now in launch position. Coming to Sun and Fun's 50th fly in celebration, Trace Atkins for an opening day concert. A total war since I was a kid between Jesus and John. Don't miss Trace Atkins with special guest Sarah Evans. Ponytail girl grown up to be a woman, now she's gone and I'm blinking an eye. Get your tickets now and be a part of the kickoff celebration for Sun and Fun's 50th fly in. Go to flysnf.org. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm Barry Canutula, the CEO of King Schools, and you're invited to join me, John and Martha, and everyone at King Schools as we celebrate 50 years of helping pilots like you achieve their aviation goals. Until February 15th, you can save up to $250 on select King Schools courses. Just go to kingschools.com slant 50 years for all the details. But hurry, these savings expire on February 15th. Welcome back. Cal Science Center shuttle display now in launch position. The California Science Center has successfully completed what they call the only authentic space shuttle system display in launch configuration. Endeavor's installation in the future Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center is the grand finale of the unprecedented go for stack process. With Endeavor's detachment from the gigantic 450-foot crane and metal sling just after midnight, this marks the official completion of the complex six-month multi-phase process. Work began Monday, January 29th around 9.30 p.m. for Endeavor's soft mate to the rest of the space shuttle stack. Overnight, Endeavor was lifted into the construction site and captured at attached points on the massive orange external tank, ET-94. Work resumed January 30th to achieve the hard mate, where the flight hardware bolts were completely torqued. Endeavor was firmly secured in place as of 9.15 p.m. on January 30th. 
At 12.15 a.m. January 31st, after almost 14 hours of work in total, Endeavour was fully detached from the crane and sling, and the final mating of the space shuttle to the external tank and two solid rocket boosters was complete. Space Shuttle Endeavour flew 25 missions in space and has inspired roughly 20 million guests from around the world since arriving at the California Science Center October 2012. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!